if you look at the description of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam a beautiful description and when it came to his upper body it was a tapered body in the sense his chest and his abdomen were tapered he did not have a protruding belly a lot of us today we have protruding bellies and we are not even motivated to do anything about it once there was a man in the midst of umar radiyallahu anhu now this man had a protruding belly umar radiyallahu anhu looks at the man and he asks him ya rajul what is this now the man he taps his belly and he says this is baraka from allah umar radiyallahu anhu looks at the man and he says la This is a punishment from Allah, a test from Allah, a torment from Allah. Go into the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Look at how he carried himself with food. Look at what an active lifestyle he led. Let us all change our lives, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Number one, let's start with mindful eating. This is a practice deeply rooted in the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is reported to have said that a human being does not fill any container worse than his own. stomach it is sufficient for a human to eat a few mouthfuls to keep his spine straight but if he must fill it if you need to eat more than a few mouthfuls then go with portions divide your stomach one third for food one third for drink and one third for air mindful eating where you are mindful of every morsel every mouth of food that you put into your mouth and part of mindful eating is to chew your food thoroughly a lot of us today we just gulp the food down which is a very unhealthy practice it is from the teachings of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam to chew your food thoroughly so that you break it down into smaller particles making it easier for your body to process and extract the nutrients from that food Number 2 balanced meals. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam was known for his balanced diet. In his life we find a beautiful blueprint for what we now regard as a balanced diet. He consumed a healthy variety of foods. He incorporated dates, barley, honey, olive oil, milk which are all superfoods in today's standards our houses of nutrition subhanallah at that time they didn't have processed foods and even if they did the prophet would not have indulged very unhealthy today's processed food industry fast food avoid sausages all these processed types of meat try to stick to wholesome food halal and tayyiba halal yes you need to look at it being halal and tayyiba as well that's what's interesting in the ayah allah didn't say only eat halal halal and tayyiba good and wholesome foods don't put things that are poisonous into your body things that are going to cause you harm today if you look at our diets heavily carb based and on top of that a lot of processed stuff going into it you are what you eat have you ever felt bad after eating honey dates good vegetables healthy protein healthy meat no whenever you eat processed food whenever you eat food with high sugar you crash you feel so bad you don't feel productive you feel lethargic you don't feel motivated to do good things The next area that I want to quickly focus on is hydration. Today a lot of us don't hydrate ourselves properly. And this is why you feel zapped, you feel like you've got the splitting headache or we tend to hydrate ourselves again with the wrong things. Some of us are living on energy drinks, a new fad, very bad for your health. A lot of sugar in it. All these processed drinks, fizzy drinks, extremely bad for your health. All these energy drinks packed with unhealthy ingredients. Look after your children, look after your offspring. They are an amana from Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So hydrate yourself with water. Hydrate yourself with natural thirst quenchers. Opt for wholesome fruits like watermelon, king coconut, coconut water. All these things are healthy and this is you fulfilling your haq towards the amana that Allah gave you this body is an amana the health is an amana do not abuse it may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all go work out lose the fat go for a walk go for a swim go for a run move don't be stationary if you are stagnant you're going to become murky and dirty water 